Well, boy, we're out here in the hot summertime. It is smoking hot, almost 100 degrees. We're actually on Lake Gunnersville, TVA Lake, grass fishing. And there's a lot of ledge fish out here going on on the lake. And you can get out there and fish 15 to 25 foot, and you can catch some fish. And there's times that they'll bite, times they won't, depending on water flow. But another pattern that I love so much, it's overlooked a lot, is the bladed jig bite. And the bladed jig bite is not just a spring you know, a cold weather, springtime bait, even though it's really good then. Uh, when, when a lot of people lay that bait down, I keep throwing it and sometimes go from a half ounce to a three quarter ounce even to fish the bait a little bit deeper. And what I'm targeting out here on Gunnersville is, is really big openings and holes in the eelgrass. Eelgrass is growing all over this lake and you can kind of run your contour lines on your Lawrence Sea Map here and see the little high spots, the little contours, turns and twists, and any of those places that come up to five or six feet deep, and then they gradually taper off to 10 feet. That eelgrass is kind of carpeting that floor of that drop. And anywhere there's a big hard spot, shell bottom or sandy bottom spot, those bass will sit in those areas and ambush the bait. When you're fishing this blade of jig uh, out here, you know, I'm making really long casts with it. And the key of having the right equipment is a really big deal on this because you don't want to lose a lot of fish, and you will if you don't have the right setup. But this is my Daiwa Tatula Elite. It's my Randy Howell signature big top water swim bait blade of jig rods. A 7.4 medium heavy, uh, medium heavy backbone and a good medium tip. And it's a shorter handle on this rod, slightly shorter handle than some of the others, and that's kind of just for two-handed casting so you can hold it close to your body and rip it out of the grass and not having too long of a handle to get in the way and poking you in the side so you can you know, pull it and rip it and react it and that's where you get a lot of those bites when you're ripping it out of the grass. Uh, usually I use a 6-3 retrieve a lot and then in the summer when it gets really hot I'll go to the 7-1 just to get it a little more speed so when I rip it out of the grass I can take the slack up because a lot of those fish hit it when it's pulling out of the grass and you got to be ready to react and, and hook them and then, uh, and I use heavy line with it, depending on how deep I want to fish. If I'm, if I'm targeting that four to six foot range, I'll go with a heavier to 20 pound fluorocarbon J, Daiwa J fluoro line. And if I'm wanting to get a little deeper and stay in the seven to 10 foot range with a half ounce bait, I'll drop down to say 16 pound, even 14 sometimes in the same Daiwa J fluoro. And it really makes a difference. The lighter the line, the better the bait stays down. The heavier the line, the more it planes the bait up, fishing it shallower. The main thing with these jackhammers or any of the bladed jigs you use is having the right trailer. And this is the Yamamoto Zayco trailer. This bait was designed specifically uh, to fit on this jackhammer bladed jig. And I like this jackhammer. Most a lot of guys use this one. There's a lot of them that work good, but that bait just fits perfect. It's a little fish, and that word Zayco, some people say Zako, but I call it Zayco. It, the word is little fish. That's what that word Z-A-K-O in Japanese means, little fish. And it's a little fish on the back of that bladed jig, and man, it's deadly. Brett Height designed this years ago now, and it's still one of the best trailers on the market. A lot of colors in it, and it fits perfectly on that big hook, and it just keeps that bait wiggling, looking natural. If you notice, I'm making super long casts, and that's a big deal when you're fishing a grass lake, especially a heavily pressured grass lake like Gunnersville. You want to really make long casts, and you're going to catch a lot of your fish on that first third of your cast. Then when I get it out there, I'm targeting those openings. I'm going to reel it and keep it erratic. I'm, I'm letting it sink a lot and pulling it, ripping it, ripping it when it gets grass, letting it fall. And then I'm, I'm kind of letting it sink because it's a half ounce bait and when you rip it out of the grass, it rises up to three or four feet. And then you gotta let it go back down to seven, eight, nine feet, however deep the hole is in the grass. And, some, and they typically hit it on that fall as it's falling down and ripping it back up. So be really careful to be paying attention for that. That's why I like the seven one retrieve on the, when I'm doing a lot of that yo-yo style fishing, just so you can get your slack up quick. Out of the Zayco trailer right there. 